we were to summarise this in like, let's try and do five tips. Five tips, okay. Okay, you first. Oh my god, like ring light, wow, like, oh my god, so <laughs> We're amazing. in the YouTube game We're now. in the YouTube game now, everyone. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm here with a very special guest. Talia. Talia's got her own channel. What sort of stuff do you do? Um, oh my god, what do I do? Like fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, you know. All very entertaining anything. stuff. We're here today to talk about like our results day and results day experience and give you guys some advice about the special day that's coming up very soon. Special day. Ooh. Special day. Ooh. What we're going to do is I think we're going to tell you about our own results days and then go through some information and some very useful tips for you to be ready and be prepared for when you go into your school or get them posted or whatever you want to do and open that one sheet of paper that tells you about what you got. So, what is your results day story? My results day story? So I have a little bit of a different story to your most like generic ones because I got my results at home, I had them posted to me. So I remember, to be honest, we didn't really have much information on when our yeah. results were coming to us. We literally yeah. just were told, wait for them in the post and you'll get them. So I went to the Brit school and we do like a BTEC, so... We got Brit. Oh <laughs> yeah. So we do a BTEC, so what we get is an equivalent to three A levels. So I ended up getting a triple distinction star, you know, top marks. <laughs> wow. But incredible. I just remember honestly sitting there thinking, I am so nervous for today. Because I went on a gap year after we got our results, so I didn't go straight off into uni. I auditioned for a few schools, I didn't get some of them. So obviously I was a little bit disheartened and I was just like, at the end of the day, I don't really care what I get now because I'm not going to the schools that I want to go to. So then I got my results and I ended up getting really good results and I feel like a main tip for me is just to remain positive because mm. at the end mm -hmm. of the day, everything happens for a reason and I just knew that the time last year wasn't the right time for me mm -hmm. and yeah, just positivity is key. It's always important, I think we're going to get onto a lot of this later, but it's always important to remember that these grades on a piece of paper, like this is a certain time in your life, they're not set in stone yeah you can change them if you want to if you work hard in your life it may seem very rushed and these like three years or something that you're about to go off to university i mean i know people that have taken a gap year off and retaken things i know people that took a gap year and absolutely changed their mind about what they wanted to do mm -hmm. and like you're still in like the very early stages of your life exactly. and i think there's a lot more so to early. careers and experience and life experience that so results day nerves wise is probably what you're going to be thinking that it matters so much like these mm. these grades matter and they do they do matter if you've been working towards university yeah. and you really want to get into it they're, they're going to be important to you but i think it's also remember to remember the bigger <laughs> picture and realize that you know if it's not going to work out um you've got other options especially in this country especially in england so. i mean elsewhere i'm not sure about because i've not experienced <laughs> that but especially in this country you've got you know, apprenticeships internships there's literally so and, much yeah choice gap year to retake and then reapply and then, oh, you can only, like, you can retake the ones you didn't get so well in and then you've already got, like, things to work in. And universities will understand that and universities will look for that and know about your life experience. Say you wanted to do, like, um, engineering and instead of doing, like, a straight degree, you took an internship at an engineering firm and, A, you'd get a bit of money for it and you'd get experience in the industry, which is sometimes more valuable for, like, vocational things. Yeah. So I think it's important, I, I guess our first tip then, <laughs> is to realise that, even though it's important and you've been working hard, whatever you get on the day, it's not as important as the rest of yeah, your life. Yeah, like, right? like these grades do not define you. Like yeah. there's so many more options out there. It's just imagining like you're sitting in an exam and that's that one paper or that mm. one, that, that 45 minutes, one hour, whatever of your life, like it's not going to summarise your life. Exactly. Don't let it. It's just Don't, a small like, part of I mean, life. it's very cliche, you know, you get the famous people like, um, like oh tweeting like oh back in my results day i got you 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 yeah. and look at me now like we're not saying that we're not saying no, like yeah. you know, totally trash you you know work hard yeah but if you know that you put in as much effort yeah. as you can and you get what you get then work with it i mean i know my results was like a bit skew with because my examination it was like you know i had personal things going on and stuff like mm -hmm. that and i know that when i got my results it obviously initially i was very like extremely sad but after that I sort of began to realise, okay, this is the, the route my life's going to take now. I'll sort of work towards it, I won't give up. And I realised that for what I want to do, music, 
life experience is just as valuable sometimes exactly. in the industry. I mean, it's why I went to Brit school in the first place. People were like, oh, your grades are going to drop. Well, why are you going to Brit school? Are you going to work at McDonald's? <laughs> and I was like, listen, as a musician, the things I learned there will be way more valuable than exactly. any GCSE can teach me. It's so important to remember that everything has context. Things happen for reasons. And you got to remember that it's not the end if it goes wrong. Yes. It's really not the end. Like you've got so speech. much stuff. I, like, inspire me to know. <laughs> me personally, like my results day, I think one, another tip I'm going to like sort of give is like on the day, UCAS, like the actual website, they yeah, sort they of, they reveal early, yeah. if you got your offer or not. And so that's the first moment, like I was in bed, it was like 8.30 in the morning and I opened up my computer and I was like, you know, imagine what I was oh feeling, my gosh, I was like, I have no idea. And I opened, imagine opening the website and it just says, congratulations, you got into your insurance choice. Mm -hmm. And I, I was just like, hang on, what? Like that's what's going on. Yeah. And you were just like overwhelmed with kind of like sadness and like, oh, I'm not good enough, blah, blah, blah. And that's all like in that one moment. But the reason why I say that is because I imagine that if I opened that envelope at school and I, I was like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh. You're in front of everyone. In front of everyone opening your envelope. And I'm, I was in front of my friends who, you know, you all know they got like all A stars and stuff, like very successful people. And you were there like feeling that wave of emotion at once. That must be, that would be oh. extremely difficult mm -hmm. for me. And people would be understanding, but it's the added pressure of being around people that I just really want, like really would not want. You know, using that tip maybe just to like get all your emotions out or really like the day before sort of think through things. Mentally prepare yourself, mentally get ready. Don't spend the entire day like, you know, going out partying to try and forget about yeah. it and then going in the morning. I feel like a good tip is to think about your options the day before. Yeah. Because when yeah. it happens on the day, you're going to be so like stress, full of emotions. Stress. And this is, this is probably, if you're going to take one thing from this video, it's prepare for results day. And I don't mean prepare like, you know, sit, psych, psych yourself up in a room <laughs> right, like, okay, I can do this. Uh, uh. <laughs> but have an option for if it goes well, have an option for if it doesn't go well, have an option for if it goes atrociously, which, you know, I'm not saying that you will get atrocious results, no, but yeah. like, I even had the idea that what if I didn't even make my insurance, what was I going to do? And the thing is, when you have options and it happens on that day, you'll obviously have your teachers in school to help you with them. Choosing the right option can take a little bit of time. And remember, everyone in the country has got it on the same day. Exactly. Everyone's going to be experiencing what it's like not to make your grades, what it's like to get your grades, what it's like to go through clearing, what it's like to go through the other option where it's like you get better grades and ring up universities. And the most important thing is that you have that prepared before you get emotionally involved. So imagine like going on the day and you find out it doesn't go as well and you've got no plan. You'll, you'll be really upset and it's often hard to make correct decisions when you're really upset and emotionally involved. Take a few, you know, days before or like the day before even, maybe even the night before, to look up options, look up numbers you might need to call, university mm -hmm. numbers you might need to call. Because yeah. the first thing I did when I did make my offer is I went into school, I talked to my subject teachers and I said, are remarks possible? Is this option? So that was the first option for me is, can these grades improve without me, you know, doing anything, but just sending them back and then getting them back. And that, that was like, okay, this could be a possibility. It's quite unlikely, but you know, it's an option we can still take. And financially as well, it was a bit of, like a difficult decision to make. What, what really persuaded me as the day is that first of all, I was on the bursary scheme, so they would have paid for it anyways. But before we realized that that was an option, he said, it's just as much money as like a driving lesson and imagine what it could do for you. Money will come back to you later on in life. Exactly. Like spend it now for the things you want. Yeah. Anyways, so I realized, you know, remarks might not be an option. I've got to, you know, sort that out. So I rang up the university and often you'll just talk to them and then either they tell you there's no chance and that's like, you know, not the best thing you want to hear or they tell you, you know what, we'll lower this grade for you. We'll, we want you, like we still want you and that's good. If they tell you there's no chance, then at least you know that it's not something you should put your energy into. You'll be upset for, for a while, but at, at the end of the day, you know that they wouldn't want you and you can still do what you want at another university that will give you, you know, it may not be your first choice, but I think it's difficult to realize that when you get there, a lot more opportunities open up than you think. I started to sort of, you know, settle with myself and sort of be like, okay, you know what? You didn't make Oxford, that's okay. Um, you're going to Leeds. And I was thinking, there's a reason why I chose Leeds in my insurance. Exactly. An amazing city. I'm a Leeds United fan. The course <laughs> there is so free and so versatile. They do like projects and things. Like the Leeds music scene is, is great. And I, I started to be like, you know what? It's going to be fun regardless. And it's important to remember that if you do your insur insurance choices properly and you really think of that, you'd be happy going there. Then after you get over that sort of like, I didn't make my first uni, you don't really feel good enough. You start to realize that there are just other opportunities. And that's what I say about being ambitious yeah. because 
Oxford for me was a bit like a push. Oh, if I got that, that'd be great. But if I didn't get that, I've still got other options to go to. And that's what results day is about. Like you get what you get. If you get better than you expected, that's then you can, you can ring up other universities and you can ask them. It's literally like, imagine you're applying for a job, yeah. but you're applying for a degree. And on this day, universities will have people literally the whole university will just be there to like be ringing people yeah be getting people involved and that's the hardest thing about results day yeah it's getting what you want or getting what you don't want and deciding what to do so i'm going to tell you um a story about my friend abruba big up abruba i'll probably he doesn't even <laughs> know that i'm doing this video do you know what i mean but he is he is you're honestly, in this video now but he on results day didn't get the marks he wanted um and he had he had an oxford offer right he had an oxford offer and so he could have gone to his insurance, he could have um, accepted that offer. He knew what he wanted to do, and he knew he wanted to go to Oxford um, to do English. And so, at the end of the day, he decided, I'm going to take a gap year, and I'm going to retake like the exams that I need to retake to get in, and I'm going to re-interview. And he the entire process again, and I actually saw him, because he's a year above me, I actually saw him like in interview week, and I was like, oh, oh really? like, like this is crazy, Like you're, you're doing this again, Like this must be so tough for you. And I think once he realised that he gave himself the time, he gave himself, you know, less pressure because he's already got some of the grades and he can like retake them. I, I can't speak on his behalf, yeah. but from what I saw is he was motivated enough to realise that that wasn't the only option and he shouldn't make a rush decision. So he took the day, he thought about it, he made the decision he wanted to retake and here he is at Oxford now, he's at Queen's, he's president actually of really? the uh, Queen's like student body kind of thing. Um, and he's he's thriving and that's all because he took the time out of his day to not rush into things and I, I know my teachers like they definitely like helped me out because they knew they they, they realised that during like exam season I like wasn't on top four and stuff and so they were prepared kind of yeah. for me to come in on results day and be like whoops <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> that, that was quite a long stream it of was. just stuff I need it to was all important take stuff. a moment take a moment <laughs> we were to summarise this in like Let's try and do five tips. Five tips, okay. Okay. You first. Five tips from me? Oh, uh, no, like, we'll oh, go like one, okay. one each one. Yeah, so. Don't panic because I'm a firm believer of everything happens for a reason and if you didn't get something, then something better is going to happen. Don't panic. Don't panic. There are, there are other options. Because I'm not a firm believer in anything happens for really? a reason. Really? Just because... I'm a firm believer in you take your options and you, you deal with them. Yeah. And so some people take that either way. I'm, I'm quite less on the like, everything I was really, I'd, I, I, the choices you make have consequences. Yes, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But um, my version of don't panic is don't panic, you've got options. Like, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. So you're one not to like, just yeah, your theory. Completely. Completely. <laughs> yeah. I'm one person that's going to get Don't panic. Number one. Number two. <laughs> Be prepared. Yes. And that means coming into results day with a list of numbers you can call. Just get a sheet of paper, a Word document, whatever. Put universities up, emails, numbers, because you don't want to be on the day, you know, finding you have to contact them. And hey, if you go into results day and you don't need the numbers you call, you can scrunch up that paper, you exactly. can throw it away, you can, you can go, else. you can celebrate. <laughs> yep, that's my right. number two, be prepared. Don't panic, be prepared. Yes. I don't know what I do with mine. <laughs> okay, so tip number three is Everyone like your age is going to be going through the same thing on the same day as you. Some people are going to be happy about it, some people are going to be sad. So obviously if people are celebrating then you should be happy for them even if your choices weren't the ones that yeah. you wanted. And obviously some people will be upset so remember to be mindful and don't be like, yo, I got this. Yeah, don't like... Yeah, like be mindful yeah, of others. Yeah. But obviously celebrate it. yourself. Like, exactly, if you've done well, yeah. you, you deserve to celebrate. And if people haven't done well, like... Remember, yeah, be there for them and realise that you don't really know their story, like you, unless they're like your best mate or whatever. Yeah, like, you don't really know, like, someone across the rules are quite upset. You know, they need time, they need space to sort of go through their options. And at the end of the day, when they're upset, you can go over and support them, you know, take their mind off things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tip number four is literally don't panic. Oh, not oh. don't panic. <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. That's tip number one. Always remember the bigger picture and realise that right now is not the time to get emotionally involved. This is an important decision making day and it's, it's, you can be upset or, or happy that can, you know, you're allowed to feel these things and it's remember, you're allowed to be upset if you didn't get in, like, you should let your feelings happen. Yes. But you don't should be prepared, yeah, don't let them take over you because at the end of the day you need to make decisions 
and whether they be in a day or two days, you know, it's quite a short time frame. And you can be upset later or you know, have it settled. I know people who you know had to go home and just ring universities and have their friends come up because they were so like shattered and so like upset that they couldn't like almost almost couldn't function. And that happens to people sometimes. And that's why I'm saying it's so important to you know tip number two to be prepared. But tip number four is remember the bigger picture. Yeah. You'll often find that people like who just go into something and just make a decision. They might, you know, regret not thinking about it, but the decisions they make, I know people who've just gone for university and like they've not known much about it, but whilst they're there, they find people they connect with, they find things they enjoy. University, I think I went to university more for the university experience yeah, rather than the degree. a lot of people do yeah. that. Because it's just such a great way to make friends. You'll have fun wherever you end up. When you go to university, people won't be like, Oh, this was your insurance choice. Oh, I'm not going to speak to you. Yeah. And if they do, okay. if they do that, you can get this people out of your life because they're you know. But people will be like, oh, like, oh, you're cool. Like, let's let's go like for a drink or something. Oh, you got an essay. Okay, like we can all struggle through that together. <laughs> and that's I think the most important thing yeah. is like realizing there's more to life than a bit of paper that says in your grades. Literally. So we had. Don't panic. Don't panic. Be prepared. Good. Don't. Be mindful. Of be others. mindful of others. Um. Remember the bigger picture, like your emotions and stuff, yeah. and the rest of life is much more <laughs> important than a little piece of paper. Yes. They're pretty good tips. Do yeah. we need a fifth one? Um, fifth one? I don't know. Um, celebrate, maybe? Yeah, yeah, celebrate. Why not? Fifth one, celebrate, like, the fact that you've even gone through and taking exams. Exactly, like, like that's a big process. Like, people, people sort of dumb it down. Of. Just because everything, everyone does it, doesn't mean it's not a great achievement. Like, you'll know how hard you've worked, mm. you'll know what it's effort you've put in. Like, imagine all the, well. all the little revision cards, like, and you've got to manage the social pressures of being a teenager, yes. as well as doing your exams. You know, you've got relationships, well, not always, but relationships friendships. or friendships. Um, a whole lot school. of stress. Yeah. Yeah, the Just hormones, celebrate. That, that's a whole other video, I'm not getting into that right now. So at the end of the day, whatever you come out with, and remember that even the option of going to university or getting an A-level, regardless of your grade, like you should still celebrate what you did, and you should still remember that that was hard work you put in. And now that it's over and you've made your decisions, relax, you yeah. know, go on holiday. Just celebrate Take the time having Just, all yeah. that school behind yeah. you now. Yeah, or if you're going to go through and retake, just remember, look, I've got things to do. Be motivated and yeah. take your time off to celebrate and have, have some days off and, get and then you right can get back, back on track <laughs> and you can, you can, you'll be so motivated just to do what you want to do and really live off that and engage with that and do that and aim for what you want to aim for and take the time off to go for that top off. If you really want that, then you can do that and that's an option you can take and you'll have time to do it and you'll all smash it. It's all going to be, it's all going to be fine. Be all going to be so good. Motivational speakers. Mot yeah, yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Because I did not go out on my results day. I was I was emotionally drained and I was shattered. <laughs> but I tell you, as soon as like everything was as soon as everything was sorted, I wow, it was great. It was amazing. If you <laughs> Live your watch, best life. You want to watch Netflix? Watch Netflix. Like if you want to go out with friends, go out with friends. You've done it. Results day will be over in a day. That's what's exactly. results day. It's not results week. Results that would be day. disgusting. <laughs> uh, and it should be good. It should be fine. Remember our tips. Exactly. They're useful. I'm not sure, I'll, I'll maybe write them in the description. Do you know what else is going to be in the description? My channel. A link to Talia's channel. <laughs> Check her out guys, make sure you subscribe and leave some comments. She's got some amazing content. Oh, thank you. Uh, a really cool drive with me, with me. Uh, I think that's one of the best videos. I'm not sure. I hope you guys have taken something from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to be doing some more stuff um, for people applying this year. So we're going to do like a personal statement thing. I'm going to be um, talking about music degrees and stuff like that, just for, you know, specifically music people and other degrees and stuff as well. And I'll get some other people on my channel to, like Talia, to talk about their own experience as well. So you guys get the full, the full shebang, the full, all you know, the works. All, all the works, all the works. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you check out Talia and her channel, subscribe to her, drop her some nice likes and comments. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to me for more of this university content and let me know anything else you want to see down in the comments below. Um, the last video that I did sort of on this, it was really nice to see all of your comments and giving me ideas for what to do in the future. Good, that was good. That was right, good, right. well done. Remember guys, like, subscribe and... Wash your eyes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hello everyone, welcome to a very special video. Um, <laughs> Video. This is what I do for about an hour. Oh, so I'm like, oh maybe, no, maybe, 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 not. maybe not. Incredible. Oh, great. I want it, you know.